Hello everybody, in this Rhino Basics tutorial, I would like to talk about some of the commonly used surface editing tools. Okay, let's start. The first tool I want to talk about is the project curves command. Okay. I'm going to draw a circle here. What I want to do is for the circle to be projected onto this surface and in the process I create a new curve on this surface okay to do that I can use uh, this command the project curve command okay the project curve command is a view specific command this means that we should be performing the operation within the view where the projection will be uh, occurring correctly okay the projection is always happening uh, perpendicular or normal to the view okay so uh, in our case we have to use the top view okay we cannot use the front view because in the front view the curve will never meet the surface if it is uh, projected uh, in a uh, fashion that is uh, normal to the view okay so i hope you understand what i'm talking about okay so let me perform the project curve so i click on this and ask me select curves to project so in the top view i'm going to select this then press enter and it asks me for select a surface to project onto so in this top view i will have to select this surface as i mentioned you cannot select in this this uh front view or the Okay. so the top view is the correct view for our uh, demo here so I select this press enter and you can see that we have a new curve being formed a projected curve on the surface okay so you can imagine uh, like this uh, curve is like sort of like uh, when it's being moving outwards and the projection that is sort of like uh, passes through this uh, surface and the process uh, create this um, projected curve on the surface okay. so you might be wondering what are the potential uh, application of this uh, curve on the surface well um, this curve on the surface can be used to do uh, things such as trims which I'm going to uh, show you now okay so the next command that I want to show pertaining to our editing uh, series is uh, this one the trim so let me uh, perform a trim okay so I click on this and you ask me uh, select cutting object so this is my cut sorry um, let me repeat this again so you ask me uh, select cutting object so uh, this is my cutting object okay the projected curve on the surface and enter okay assuming that I want to trim off this region so what you can do is uh, click on this region Okay, the region that you select will be the region where the surface uh, will, part will be removed. Okay, so uh, let me control that again. Let's say I want to remove this uh, region. I can click on this and the outer region will be uh, removed. Okay, so yeah, so actually what I want to do is actually to remove this. Okay, so as mentioned, this is the, the trim. Okay, the trim. Okay, the trim command okay let me uh, undo this okay I'll just talk about the trim now I want to cover a similar command called the split basically the split is like a trim without the removal of any region of the surface okay so uh, let me uh, give you a demo so I click on the split so it asked me select object to split so the object to split is my surface this okay enter when done so I press enter and it asks me to select the cutting object so my cutting object is this uh, projected curve on the surface okay and I press enter it appears that nothing has happened well mm, that's not true what has happened is that the surface has been splitted into two different parts okay yeah so this is the 
function of the split. Sometimes in certain uh, tricky circumstances, uh, you might find it hard to do a uh, trim. Uh, those are the instances where a split will be uh, more useful. So you can actually um, do a split first, then proceed to manually delete the the portion of the surface that, that you do not want. Okay, yeah. Then another possible um, potential purpose of the split is that uh, perhaps in this design you still want to have this uh, this piece. For example, let's say uh, now I've done the split and in my design actually this this part actually goes goes down downwards, and then I can do like uh, something like a maybe a loft to. create a surface around it okay okay so yeah as you can see these are certain uh, potential application of the split okay with that I've come to the end of this uh, video tutorial see you around bye